that one thing that I wanted to do in my video is I wanted to try to cover every area and just basically go over what I do as a routine to get ready for ropings, for rodeos, or even just practice at my house. And the more time that I spend rodeoing and roping, the more money that I invest in horses, the more I realize how important they are to my success and be, you know, a horse is part of my team. So uh, used to, when I first started, I didn't quite take as good a care of them as, as I do now. It wasn't that I didn't uh, take care of them, it was just the way that I did it. I've learned a lot of how, what works better for them, how to keep them more comfortable, because the more com comfortable and the more confident that the horse is, the better that they'll usually work. Uh, one thing that's important is just, just preparing to rope. Whether you're in the practice pen or, or going to a rodeo, I find that a lot of guys spend a lot more time getting their horses ready and preparing them when they're at a rodeo. You know, they might get there a couple of hours early uh, and have plenty of time to get everything ready and get their horses warmed up properly. But when they're at home and get a practice, they just sling their saddle pads on them, throw their stu stuff on them, maybe not even boot them up correctly and go out and practice and run maybe 25 steers or 20 steers on them versus one steer at a rodeo. So it's really more important in the practice pen due to how many steers that you might rope.